All right, what's up, everybody? We are on the third episode of Freerun Beyond Journeys. And yeah, man, it's been a couple of days since I actually watched the first two episodes. And it's the sign of a truly special show that you're watching, right? When it's just been on your mind the entire time. I absolutely have been loving this ride already. Just two episodes and knowing that there's so much more to come. But, you know, I mean, I don't know. It's just the emotional impact that it makes, right? And it's just the... Uh, the way it tells its story, the slow pace, the the way it allows you as a viewer to kind of take in all these emotional moments simultaneously, plus kind of the realizations that it slowly makes you come to um, of what it is that, that these characters have been going through, right? Last episode, of course, I mean, I'm pretty sure that we're supposed to interpret that, it that way, right? Where Freerun actually seems to have had a thing for Himmel, and maybe vice versa too, to be fair, but like, they had a bit more of a special connection going on, and um, I guess it could have been love. And maybe, I mean, I'm, I'm already sort of filling in the blanks, but I'm guessing that the only reason why it didn't pan out that way is that it's just because Freerun figures like, I am an elf, I have an entirely different kind of life in front of me, and this is just not the right path to take because I'm going to be left crying, basically, right? Sorrowing uh, 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 the rest of my life. And so... Yeah, it's uh, again, I, I do love how she's just picked up this responsibility now, in a sense, to continue honoring their friends. At least that's how I'm kind of interpreting it, right? Um, and she she was on this obsessive quest, right, for Himmel specifically and his statue to find those blue flowers. Uh, yeah, to, to again, to, to honor him in the way um, it should have been done. Of course, in that very same episode, we also said goodbye to a second basically main character of the main crew with um Haita, which doesn't bode well i will say for eisen i don't know how long it's gonna take for us to run into eisen again but you know it's like he's the only actual character left of the of the crew at this point along with freerun right and i don't know how long dwarves are supposed to last <laughs> let's put it like that i think they are supposed to age a lot older uh than the others do and again that's actually a question that i still don't quite understand is like why why was it that Himmel aged so quickly compared to Haita, who still had another 20, 30 years, I think it was in total, right, um, in front of him? I mean, did that have to do with his, like, the magic that he used as a priest? I don't even know, really, if he used magic himself, to be fair. But um, that being said, I, I, I figured that's probably what it has to do with. Anyway, magic really does seem like it's going to be a more important aspect of the show moving forward. Last episode already was called It Didn't Have To Be Magic, and this one, by the way, is called Killing Magic, so go figure. But obviously, now that we've taken Fern under our um, uh, guidance, or whatever you want to call it, we're now teaching her about magic as well. And Fearon had this, this, this line at the very end, which I think I might have, you know, slightly misinterpreted at first, but... She talked to Fern about, well, why is it that you picked magic, right? And Fern basically goes like, well, I mean, you know... I like magic somewhat, just like you do, but um, I just needed something to help me along the way, right? Like, if it could have been combat skills, you know, then I guess I would have gone for that just as much. But Firin went, no, you specifically chose magic, right? Like, you chose to uh, start mastering this. Why was that? Because, you know, even with a range of options of things that you could have been studying, you know, for your own survival, I guess, and for helping the people around you, you specifically picked magic out of those things which makes sense you know it was a choice at the end of the day right but again where exactly are we going to um going to be going with that that's basically the question that i currently have on my mind but with that being said guys i think we're ready to basically dive into this um third episode and see where it takes us of course if you enjoy my reactions to free run beyond journeys and you'll be able to get early access to the next 16 episodes straight away over on my patient page which is going to be linked on top of the description actually it's probably 12 instead but still there's going to be early access up there you can also sign up as a free member and watch the next two episodes already right now full-length reactions will of course be up there too if you want to see me react to the episodes in their entirety but with that being said let's dive into this new episode 27 years after the death of Himmel the hero in the trade city of Warm, located in the central lands well that's still following up basically from where we were right i think because Haito died 20 years later. I don't know how much time it passed since, but... 
She's got them just to stall, though. Herbs and stuff? <laughs> oh, shit. What are you up to, Miss Freerin? Nothing good ever comes when she does that. Buy something we don't need? She didn't actually, though. Oh my god, dissolves clothing? So she did this in the past already? <laughs> Just leaves her. Oh my god, really? <laughs> Just Assassin's Creed style, we're gonna chase her down through the city? Hmm. I mean, yeah, who's she gonna impress with that accessory? She doesn't... Is she trying these earrings right now? I think she is, right? Actually, maybe she was wearing them the entire time, but whatever. Okay, what did she get? I mean, she wasn't sure on the decision, that's for sure. Desserts? Oh shit, yeah, we're not gonna stuff ourselves, come on. The basement of that building? Yo, I'm not going into some basement. Nah, okay, it's like an underground, yeah, tavern, I see. <laughs> Dude, I just love how, again, I mean, slow pace this episode basically is, right? It's just, it's hilarious. Oh, these guys are up to no good, though. Oh, I think their dessert just walked in, actually. Yeah, they are, though. See, but they actually helped her out. Okay. <laughs> Again. <laughs> or did she basically wait? Yeah, she just waited with the instru- Oh, okay, okay. She figured out where they could get something. For the both of them. See, so she was being nice. Yeah. Yeah, now you gotta admit to it, though. You weren't trusting her. Huh. Oh my god, more. <laughs> There's just more suspicions right now. メルクアプリンですよね。今日の気分はメルクアプリンだろう。なんでわかるの？何年一緒に旅をしていると思っている？It's always been Mercury Pudding. Rough omelets. Grapes sour the better. I agree with that actually. We did notice. Tedeiru tokoro jannai I mean, then again, that's all he does, so <laughs> it's not like that's going to surprise him. Hmm. Yeah, it's crazy how for as little desserts as they, as, as they usually have, apparently. She knew she likes mocha pudding. It's a birthday today? So that's why she went to the accessory shop. Oh my god. Yo. Look at this thing. Mm. 
Never doubt free run again. フリーレン様はどうしようもないほどに鈍い方のようなので、はっきりと伝えます。あなたが私を知ろうとしてくれたことが、たまらなく嬉しいのです。知ろうとしただけなのに。That <laughs> Yeah, it's funny. Firin is a very ignorant character, kind of at times, right? She has this naivety about her. Okay, right. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Tokoro de Firin sama. Kono tabitte nani ka mukteki wa aren desu ka? Toku ni nai yo. Mahou shushu no shumi no tabi da kara ne. でも、できる限りはヒンメルたちとの冒険の痕跡をたどっていきたいかな。Retrace him. Retrace him before all sign of them fades away? So we're just gonna relive the journey, literally. わからない。だから知ろうと思っている。That's a way for me as a viewer at least to be able to know what it was they were up to, right? Yep. もう16ですからね。お姉さんです。お姉さん。What were we looking at? <laughs> 27 years after the death of Himmel in the big forest located in Central Lands. Grüße Forest. Damn! Magic training? Okay. Nice, you got the shield and everything. See how strong it is, I guess, huh? We're gonna hit it with everything we got. Oh, damn. Slip behind her. Yeah. Damn. Oh, okay, 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 Sphere. That's actually pretty smart. I guess she's got a counter for that one too, though. Yeah, that's true. Acid and select locations at the moment of impact. Where she's trying to hit her, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Why does something tell me she's about to trip here? Oh no, yeah, see that... What you're wearing is not really suited for this. Long cloak. I guess it makes sense that defensive magic will always beat offensive magic. It's like the rules of the world, you know? Don't use magic for the wrong purposes. Okay, what's at this village? Nah, they've probably been here before, right? Recognize her? Yep, see? They've dealt with them. Where Quar was sealed? Who's Quar? Some kind of demon? The Elder Sage of Corruption. Oh! Was this what we saw already? Before being sealed away by Himmel the Hero in his body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why they had a statue up. Oh, it was temporary. Wow. Yep, that's when he died. Oh man, don't tell that. Yeah, 
に捨てるほど白状ではない封印が解ける頃にはやってくる Yep He was right about that too そうガーッ God, I love how this is just a story of memories, man. It's insane. Damn, look at this thing. It's like Berserker in Unlimited Blade Works. I don't know if it will go like that easily, though, taking care of him. Yeah, why not defeat him at the time? Like, we're not gonna use this thing as a test for Fern to beat, though, are we? Yeah, that seems a step too high. First piercing spell, Zoltrak. Pierce not only defensive spells, but the magic resistance of armor as well. Damn. What's that mean? He got hit by it himself, or? <laughs> it was probably in there. She could have known. Don't let your guard down. Yeah, I mean, why, why would you even bring her along? Like, I guess to bear witness, but uh, seems a little dangerous to be here for this. Damn, look at this dude's face, man. It's like a mask he's wearing. A mere 80 years. It's only one human lifetime. <laughs> How do you compare to him, actually? Okay, he goes straight at it again. See? So she is letting Fern do a little bit of a practice, huh? Killing magic. It's like she said, defensive is always more powerful than offensive. Incorporated into humankind's magic system, and powerful new defensive spells were developed. Oh, so basically, we we have upgraded in the meantime. It's no longer killing magic. Wow, we've we've like literally found ways to deal with it. Ordinary offensive magic. <laughs> Your shit is outdated. <laughs> wow. It's like man is using a flip phone in the time of smartphones. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that's true. She said that. They probably got to combine. Oh, shit. Damn, man. I can't believe we're letting Fun handle some of this.
Yo! Holy fuck. Okay. That's free run? She's using it herself? Damn! Oh yeah! Man got wiped out, look at that! Completely dissolving. His own spell. How could you? Wow. Love that. Burn doesn't need any of the credit, huh? Straw hat? Probably somebody of a crew wearing it, huh? You're the brat who flipped my skirt up. Oh, God! Wow. Hey, she's wearing regular pants, though. Ain't nothing to see. <laughs> oh, look at him all. Got a little jealous. Or just defensive, but... You know why. Story of memories. I literally called it that already earlier in the episode, but every single time, that's what it is. I love it. Yep, that's why he said she would show up eventually. He left it to her to take care of it. Wow. Not a great episode, man. Oh, I'm absolutely loving this ride. It's so crazy good. Alright guys, well anyway, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and of course you can get early access to the next 12 episodes straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. Go and check it out. You can also sign up as a free member and watch the next two episodes already right now. So, I'll see you there.